Hello and welcome to Forkful of Noodles. I am Krish Mohan. Mankind, the top of the food chain. Like Leonardo DiCaprio famously shouted in that blockbuster hit of his, Gilbert! Wait, what the hell? That's not right. Regardless, look, we evolved from a small tribe of people in Ethiopia into the titans of industry that are spreading faster than herpes through a varsity football team. But this makes me wonder, is this it? Are we at the top of our game? I mean, are, are we done evolving? At one point, the dinosaurs were at the top of the food chain, and they couldn't even kill Jeff Goldblum. Oh, and not to mention the fact that Mother Nature blew them up like they were in some Die Hard movie. Does this mean that we're the next ones to get the Alan Rickman treatment? At the top of the food chain, we take the opportunity to look down on various animal species and scoff at their stature and then we usually just end up eating them. Really, we don't have amazing traits as other animals do. Now, one of the most amazing of these creatures is the naked mole rat. Now, the naked mole rat has a high density molecule in its skin that makes it resistant to cancer. Resistant to cancer, and it's naked, and it's naked? Oh my, it's the kind of extreme confidence that's admired by every hairless 14 year old boy in a high school locker room clutching to their towel while they shamefully slide their ironic American Eagle boxer shorts up their brittle prepubescent legs. Now that is amazing. But we have the ability to make people that can harness the power of anger to its full potential and control the weather like in that Joss Whedon documentary. So why should we give in to an animal that's much below us? Realize that there are animals with much more amazing traits that, than we have. I mean, if a creature like the naked mole rat can help cure cancer, then we should at least be able to cure depression without the label on the bottle saying, warning, will erase brain function and memory. You know, animals like the parrot that has been used to help a robot speak, which is essentially how Skynet is going to get started. Crocodiles actually swallow stones to keep themselves balanced in the water, but we as humans just wear crocs and lose our balance on the sidewalk. There are even some fish that have both male and female sex organs, which is ideal for some guys out there. All this means is that there are plenty of animals ready to take that next evolutionary step and hit that evolutionary renaissance that they've been waiting for, which puts us in an awkward place because it, does this mean that we've hit an evolutionary plateau much like Vincent van Gogh hit after he played, painted all those girly sunflowers? A perfect sign of how we're done evolving is the fact that allergies still exist. Humans are the only creatures that are still trying to cure allergies. I mean, every spring there are people who sneeze and sniffle and get drowsy because of all the flowers in bloom, or as my dad calls me, a pussy. You never hear of any allergy-induced asthma cases in the animal kingdom. That's because the Serengeti, if you sneeze and fall, you'll get eaten by a lion, not have mommy swipe your nose with a Kleenex cotton out. The softest tissue in the market. Now, are allergies going to be our meteorite? Extinction by sniffles? Ugh, oh, how embarrassing. Let's not look down on our animal brethren, but instead take care of them because they'll eventually lead us to becoming stronger and evolving into the comic book heroes that we admire so much. But let's not go nuts either. I mean, we still have to eat. So, you know, and, and let's be honest, poultry is delicious and, and beef is, is pretty damn good and and fish and, and pork and eggs and, and veal and, and sharks. Oh my God, have you ever had sharks? Those are incredible. As deadly a predator as they are, they're, they're kind of great. Oh, and baby alligators, those are pretty good too. And, and crocodiles and oh, oh, sometimes if you sprinkle like a rhino horn and pasta, that adds like a nice thing to stuff. And sometimes they have like things and stuff. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Fork Full of Noodles. Be sure to check out everything that we do at ramennoodlescomedy.com. The video accompaniment to this episode was shot at the Arcade Comedy Theater, so be sure to check them out at the arcadecomedytheater.com. And a big thanks to Mary Stewart for helping us film that episode as well. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at, at Krishmohanhaha, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much.